I'm going to give you a short outline of why you might want to switch between audio drivers when using Mixcraft. Let's first go over how to switch audio drivers. The most simple way is to click the Preferences button, right there. And under Sound Device, we have Wave, ASIO, and Wave RT. Another way to get there is click File, Preferences. Notice there are three driver types available. Wave, ASIO, and Wave RT. Wave is a Windows audio driver that has been around for seemingly ever and works well other than latency issues. Wave RT is the newest driver from Microsoft that offers lower latency than Wave does. The RT stands for real time. Here you can adjust the latency in milliseconds. Notice I can't go below 20 unless I click the exclusive mode box. Now I can go below 20 milliseconds but when you get very very low you may start noticing crackling and uh, pops things like that that's that's your CPU having trouble keeping up with the whole thing so find your happy medium and uh, wave RT can provide some pretty low latency exclusive mode also means that no other applications can use the sound device while mixcraft is running in exclusive mode and finally the ASIO driver I have a creative EMU 0202 USB audio interface installed and that gives me the creative ASIO driver. ASIO drivers get installed with just about any low latency uh, USB audio interface, firewire devices and even some PCI sound cards. ASIO might also be available to you if you have downloaded and installed a driver called ASIO for all which attempts to give low latency to any sound device. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. Notice that while I have the Creative ASIO driver selected, that hardware is the only option I have for recording and output devices. Whereas if I use Wave, I get my sound card, the USB microphone I'm speaking with right now, my webcam, and the uh, Creative EMU. That initially looks great, other than you're going to have latency issues. When you select ASIO, the driver is built for that hardware, so it is naturally not going to recognize the other hardware you have installed on the computer. Now why would you want to switch between audio devices? If ASIO provides the lowest latency, then why would you want to use something else? Here's a scenario for you. Let's say I need to record three microphones at once. My ASIO driver only provides two since the interface has two inputs. I could switch to WAVE or WAVE RT and use both of the creative inputs and another device such as the microphone I'm speaking through now. So let's try that. Let's arm this track with the microphone I'm speaking through and here we have the EMU channel 1 and channel 2. Now I can record three tracks at once using the Wave RT driver. So now let's say I want to add another track, uh, like a guitar solo, and I'm going to use a virtual guitar amp like Shred. That's going to require zero latency or very close to it, so the sound coming from my computer speakers is not delayed as compared to when I'm hitting the actual notes. Then you're going to want to use the ASIO driver, which is fine because I only need one input and it provides two. I hope this helps and thanks for using Mixcraft.